Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this Tosca automation course. Now in previous videos, I have shown you how you can create your test case design sheet, how you can link it to a template, and then how you can create different template instances out of your test case design sheet and your test case template. Now today I'm going to show you how you can conditionally create different test case template instances. Now what does it mean is depending on some condition some test step would be part of a particular instance and at the same time if that condition is not satisfied then that test step will not be part of a particular instance right so you need that flexibility because not all the test steps should be part of every instance okay so let's look at a real example so i'm going to take up uh, the same example which where we have developed this template instance for validate login now if i go to test case design and if we look at these two instances right so one is of valid user and one is locked user now in this uh, scenario what we are doing is for locked user it will throw a error message and we want to validate it so we have put this verification but the same verification does not apply for a valid user because there is no error message and uh, we don't want to validate this particular error message or any kind of verification for this valid user right but uh, when you link this test case design sheet to your template what will happen is it will create uh, two instances okay but it will have the same steps uh, irrespective of the fact that there is no validation error uh, for for a valid user but the step still exists so during execution also uh, although this uh, there is not, no values here so it won't execute this step or it will execute this step but it will not perform any action and in the logged user it will go ahead and validate uh, or verify this error message right but in real world scenario uh, you don't want uh, when there are lots of different steps you don't want to confuse uh, the tester and put all the uh, all the test steps for all the different instances right you should be having some business logic based on uh, which you will have different types of test cases or test instances right and the flow of uh, those test case instances should be different based on some business logic right now that is where condition comes into picture and you conditionally instantiate your test cases based on some business logic right so let's see how you can do this right how we can uh, make this uh, verification message test step to go away right in one of our template instance for valid user so we don't require this validate error test step in a valid user test case we just require it for locked user right so that's that's our uh, scenario that's what we want to achieve and i'm going to tell you how you can do that in tosca okay so the first step for this is to go to your test case template and here uh, we need another column called condition okay now the same way uh, we have to do uh, we have to go to column chooser and here we have to find our column and we can drag and drop it or just double click it to add it to our test case template okay now uh, we have got a condition column now we have to put some condition on our validate error test step right so here uh, either we can type uh, the condition or we can do a drag and drop the recommended way uh, of tosca is to drag and drop the condition and not type it so uh, so that you don't make any mistakes okay so uh, we have to drag it from the test case design sheet so let me just pull this aside so that uh, we can have a look okay so uh, let's open our test case template and here we want to put a condition in this particular step right and what we want to do is we want to put some business logic here right so what would be our business logic so in case of a user when it is the username is standard user uh, the password remains the same right so it doesn't change but the username changes so when it is a locked out user 
uh, it throws this error message and that's our business logic right so when the username equals to logged out user then go ahead and verify or execute that particular step otherwise don't do it right if it is standard user we don't want to do it okay so either um, you can have a step like uh, not equals to standard user or you can have a step where username equals to logged out user okay uh, for me um, i will do the second one where uh, i want to put this username logged out user right uh, into my test case condition okay or my test step condition so to do that uh, you need to go to your instances right so expand the instances and then uh, drag and drop this logged out user instance into our condition okay now as soon as we drag this so let me close or bring this to the center and let's go to our test case template right now if you look at this condition column okay for this valid error and you will see here the logic here is process dot username equals equals logged out user okay so i can also type this um, directly in this condition column but i will follow the recommended way of dragging and dropping that particular instance into this uh, column and that will create a condition for me automatically okay so whenever uh, this process dot username equals equals this then only it will go ahead and instantiate it so while instantiating it it will either skip this or it will add this step okay and uh, whenever you see uh, this particular arrow signs with two dots okay then it is clear that this is a conditional test step okay for uh, normal two arrows it is a normal uh, test step for two arrows with two dots then uh, it is a conditional test step okay so wherever you see this you should be clear that this is a conditional test step okay uh, now we have made changes to our template right now we have to reinstantiate our template instances so that it creates the right test cases for us okay so let's go to our template instance um, and now you can see that all the test steps are same but that's going to change okay so right click and go ahead and reinstantiate the instance and you will see that tosca automatically removed the test step for the valid user but the locked user still has that test step and that is because of our condition okay so this is how when you are creating hundreds of test cases and you want to put some business logic while creating this test cases you have to use the condition column okay so you should put it in your template and then reinstantiate uh, your template so that the right kind of instances are created uh, with the right kind of business logic so that was all about uh, uh, reinstantiation of your test cases with condition Look out for more videos uh, on our channel related to Tosca coming up pretty soon.